today and uh, according about 128 130 we're gonna be over there by our Walmart distribution in Clarksville Arkansas but our appointment is at 3 30 so we're going to get as close as we can and then just wait, wait it out. I could be an hour early so I could be in there at 2.30, right? I am in Cedar Grove, Tennessee. I'm a hundred miles from Memphis. It won't take us long. Exactly, 100 miles to Memphis. So let's get her rolling and let's get on over there. Show you what we can along the way. Well, we got the Tennessee chicken coop up here. <coughs> Stanton Skills, right before Memphis. back there to park.
the numbers. from the back of my ICC bumper. 55 through here. Well, he's moving over with me. Yeah. 
55 miles from our delivery. But I gotta go up here and get some fuel for the truck and for the reefer. We are now west of uh, Little Rock. And I'm having a little bit of a... I'm having a little bit of a problem with my air conditioner. About two months ago, we put a brand new compressor on the truck. Truck entrance. Where's truck entrance? Right here. Yeah, it must be. I'm guessing it is. But anyway. And they charged it up. It worked. And Prime did the work. They're in uh, Utah. Well. It's 97 degrees here in Arkansas. <laughs> and it was actually uh, not getting cold anymore so I thought just maybe it was iced up you know sometimes your compressor can get iced up so we we took a little stop and made a couple uh, sandwiches and shut the truck off this guy better pay attention okay and uh, shut the truck off for about 25 minutes so, oh, shit. okay. Now I'm waiting for one to de. Wait a minute. Maybe this is there one up here? Nope. So I'm waiting for somebody to move. But anyway, um, it was only doing lukewarm again. Now every now and then it would come on, and it would work. And then we get a stretch where it would not work. And then a stretch where it would work. Now it's actually blowing cold and it's probably for a half hour straight. I wouldn't think that the compressor would be going out again. And if it was, it, it could have been low on, on uh, Freon. Or it could have been blocked for some reason. You know, in the Freon lines, it could have been blocked. I'm just guessing that anyway because right now it's working great oh well who you gotta have air conditioning I mean you, you just gotta have it you know especially when you got like me I got Panda and Jake the color of their hair is, or the color of their fur is black they would literally die without the uh, coolness. They would get overheated, right? And I thought I was going to have to call Woody or somebody and let him know, hey, I'm going to make my delivery at Walmart, but we're going to get this thing fixed. Okay, I can back up now, I think. There's a spot right behind me. There ain't nothing behind me, so we're going to back her up. There is a spot right there in the very, very front. I just hope I can get in there. I think I can. But it's working. So I don't get it. Why was it doing on? If there's anybody out there that knows anything about AC, let me know why it might be doing that, you know? Like I said, the compressor is new. The only thing I figured that maybe the line got blocked, the Freon lines got blocked for some reason. Maybe some dirt or something, I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna get out and fuel. We'll be right back, guys.
curve there. Arkansas, 3.7 miles to our Walmart distribution. 